Hey guys, Melanie Gladden with us from Books and More. Today I wanted to talk to you about shipping your party prizes and the best and easiest way to do so. For me personally, I do an on-time party prize. Sometimes I do a prize before the party even starts for pre-party participation and then I do my grand prize winner. For my pre-party participation prize, I often offer them a bookmark or a packet of bookmarks. This I just printed off um, from our Google Drive. Or they can get a sample of our wipe clean cards. I pre-package these and pre-stamp and label and everything so that it's easy for me to just write their address on and stick it in the mail. In my wipe clean cards and in my bookmarks, I add in a thank you note that simply says, Thank you for your participation in Blank's Usborne Books and More Facebook party, and then I fill in the name. You have selected a sample of our wipe clean cards or bookmarks. For your party prize, if you'd like them and want some more, please contact me. I'd love to help you out. You can find me on Facebook at Melanie's VIP Usborne Books and More or by email, and I list my email. Thanks again. And I also include my website. I also have book or, uh, business cards. And then this is where I put my sample of my wipe clean cards. I usually give them between three and five. The second option I offer them is 15% off their purchase. And my most favorite thing that I offer them is upgrading their party prize to a Facebook party where they can get $15 in free books by hosting a qualifying Facebook party. I make it known that it has to be a qualifying Facebook party of at least $100 and one future booking. I do something very similar for the on-time party prize and for the grand prize winner. However, for the grand prize winner, I do a book. And they can choose either a picture book, a nonfiction book, or a phonics book. As with every prize, I include a thank you note saying thank you for your participation, thank you for your purchase, whatever the case may be, and I include it inside their book. I am shipping this book to a grand prize winner and I'm about to show you how I do that from home. Some of the things you're going to need before you are able to print your label, your shipping label, are these kind of folders. You can get them pre-bubble wrapped. Um, I also have personalized um, return address things. So I just do this, I put the book in it and I wrap it up. You'll need a scale for at home. And you need multiple sizes of these envelopes depending on the books that you choose. Walmart is a great place to go get those. That's where I typically get mine and I find them to be the most cost effective. You can get the largest ones that will fit our Shine the Light books and our smallest ones that, and the smallest ones that will fit the mini books very nicely. Okay, so when you want to ship from home, create your own shipping label and pay for it and everything while you are at home, you want to go to www.paypal.com backslash ship label backslash create. I will add the address in the comments. Um, make sure to fill out this information so you're going to fill, I'm just going to do a random thing. Oops, that'll last them. Okay, and then you scroll down and you go to ship to this address. Now there are a couple different ways you can ship. If you are shipping catalogs or anything like that, you cannot choose media mail. But first off, make sure you're shipping through USPS. That's where I typically ship, ship from at least. And I go to media mail because I am shipping a nonfiction book right now. And to me, this is a package or a thick envelope because I consider a box a large package. Now this weighed 6.8 ounces, but I round up to 7 ounces for the sake of um, just making sure I have everything right. And I don't typically add tracking or signatures or anything like that. So then I just come over here and I go to calculate shipping cost. Sorry, my computer is a little slow. It'll tell me that it'll cost $2.63 to ship. So then I do confirm and pay, and then you print out the label that they give you. I'm not going to do it because this is not the correct information right now. But um, you confirm and pay, and then you are able to print out the shipping thing, and then you just tape it onto your package. 
I should mention that when you do that PayPal ship now, it does come out of a PayPal account when you pay. So either make sure you have money in there or you have it linked to a credit card or debit card for it to purchase from. After printing the label, I simply just stick it in my mailbox with the flag up like I would any other postage, and my mail lady will come and pick it up. If I do have a lot of books, like when I do my summer book club, I often then bring it to the post office, but all I have to do is drop it off. I don't have to wait in that line um, with everybody else. So I just drop it off and they take care of it and it's already paid for, so I don't need anything else with that. Now I had mentioned media mail is for books only. Now make sure you're careful about which books you send. It has to be more than eight pages. It can't have advertisements in it or anything like that. So no catalogs. There's a whole bunch of um, rules and guidelines that go along with shipping media mail. Make sure you check that out before you ship anything just to be safe. They do have the right to go through your package and they can either keep or charge the person that receives it. Um, the difference in money. So now I quickly want to talk about hostess packages or um, new recruit packages I often try to send out. So you can get these on um, their flat rate envelopes, priority mail flat rate envelope. Um, the one I typically get is the 12 and a half by nine and a half and it costs 675 or something like that and you can stuff as much stuff as you want in it. Um, you can put your catalogs. For me, I put a catalog. I put a few sample prizes, um, maybe a book to get them started, um, to give away or whatever. It just depends on what you have in your inventory and what you are able to do. This is not a requirement. This is just something some people do. Um, sometimes I stick in some pens and stickers and whatever I have, as well as a lot of the important hostess coaching things, um, how to hostess coach, what's good for your business, how to build your business, and that kind of stuff. Those flyers are great to go in this, and you can stuff as much as you want in the priority mail flat rate shipping envelope, and it'll cost you $6.75. If you, I also send a catalog. If you wanna send a mini catalog, like to your hostess or whatever, that way would not probably be your best because $6.75 is a bit expensive for that, but shipping a regular catalog costs about $6. Um, so it's really not a big difference. As far as hostess packages, I mostly send those via email. I give out a link to our online catalog as well as Frank and hostess coaching and different ways to get them excited. So in summary, I talked about your small prizes that you can give for on-time party prizes. If you spend one day, just package a whole bunch of them up, it will really save you a lot of time. I talked about how to send books you go to Walmart, get those pre-packaged or those envelopes, and then the ones with the bubble wrap are probably best. Then you just wrap it up a little bit extra. And make sure you have a small digital scale at home that measures pounds and ounces. That way you can use the PayPal ship now and do everything from home so you don't have to go to the post office. And then I talked about if you do new recruit packets and how to get the flat rate shipping envelope, which would make it the cheapest way to send a catalog. If you are doing the hostess packages, remember you can always do those online if you don't want to send them as well. You can just send it through an email. I hope you've learned something today and I hope that this helps you take some of the stress away from making party prizes because I know that can be a stressful thing, especially if you're forgetful like myself. Um, I have to do everything beforehand or else it'll never get done. So have a great rest of your day and I'll talk to you later. Bye!